Welcome to Designer Digital's Tip of the Week, February 26, 2011. This week using parts of brushes in Photoshop and Elements. Photoshop brushes are rubber stamps with benefits. Not only can you change the size, color, and direction, but you can also remove parts of the images without missing ink masking. Here's how. Begin by opening a new document in Photoshop or Elements. Load a brush you'd like to use by going to Edit, Preset Manager, and then clicking Load. Find the brush you'd like to use and click Load. This inserts your brush file into Photoshop Elements or Photoshop, and then click Done. Make a new layer by clicking the Create a New Layer icon here in the Layers panel. This puts a transparent layer on top of your background layer. And then get the Brush Tool. Select the brush that you'd like to use. I'll come down here and use this one here. And remember that your foreground color is going to be the color of the ink that will be stamped. Making sure that your new transparent layer is selected, click to apply the stamp to your page. Because you've stamped the image on its own layer, you can manipulate it easily. To remove a section of the stamp, close the brush tool and get the eraser tool. I'm going to select a block for my eraser and then simply rub out the parts that you don't want to use. Now you can use the text tool to type in your own words or add other brushes or other elements if you'd like. If you're using a brush image as a clipping mask like I am here, Make sure that you erase away the portion of the mask and not the paper or the photo layer. To fill in a portion of the image, use either the paint bucket tool or a hard round brush to add to the brush image and erase away the parts that you don't want to use. Thanks for watching and be sure to check back next week for another Photoshop or Elements Tip of the Week.